Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Kobe, can you sit still? Kobe. It's distracting. Let's get to it. So this video is going to be my fourth empties. I'm not, this thing is not full. But I might as well do it because I want to get some videos up. And I really am drawing a blank. As always, I always, as always, I always, <laughs> I always keep my empties in this little bin. It's from last year's Benefits Holiday Collection. One of their little collections. Part of their collection from the holidays. And this is where I keep my stuff in. Oh, it's pretty full. So, it's not too bad. Um... So yeah, let's get to it. Um, first is, there's probably one or three, one, two or three of these in there. But it's my Revlon Color Stay. I wear this every day. This is my everyday foundation. Even, like, I don't even have a favorite high-end foundation. Um, because this just does the job for me. It does what I want. And I know it's full coverage and just very thick and heavy. But that's what I like and I've tried other things and I will continue to try other um, foundations um, from the drugstore as well as high end but I just haven't found anything that I like so that is an empty and it will always be an it will always be in my empties video next is um, a Revlon color stay skinny it's a Revlon color stay skinny liquid liner um, this dried out I, I mean look do you see like what clumpity clump clumps are on here? Um, I really like this. It still has, it just comes out dry eventually. So um, I just figured I'd, I got, should get rid of it. Um, I really love this eyeliner. It's very easy to make a thin liner. I am one to make more thicker liners. I don't know, I don't know how to make a really th thin pretty eyeliner line so um the closest i can to like a thin like um a lash line uh line is with this one um this is newer just came out this year and i love it i have it in brown and i have it in blue and um i love them i highly suggest this liquid liner um next i have a glamouflage um from hard candy there's still some in here but this is really old i've had this for maybe over two years or two years at that um, but I bought this to try to conceal my, um, vitiligo at some point and it didn't cover it. Um, it's really thick and it would crease on me. I know a lot of people like this. I tried it under my eyes. I think it's a little too light, but then the medium's like the same color as, I don't know, I didn't like the medium. So I'm just probably not going to repurchase this ever again, but I do like the little pen it comes with. I, if I ever feel like being fancy and... Um, carving out my eyebrows. I'll use that little um, concealer pencil it comes with, but this I wasn't a fan of. Next is an, a very old Estee Lauder um, blush. Uh, I don't even know what color it is, but it's the one that fades from light pink to dark pink. Every time I've tried to use this, um, I break out, so I think it's just really old. I'm throwing it away. Um, I probably won't ever repurchase uh, an Estee Lauder blush. It was my only one I've ever had. Next is a Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. I use this for my bottom lashes. And I, at first I really liked it. I've gone through like maybe three tubes of these. But I actually don't like it anymore because um, I just felt like it would be too messy underneath my... Um, on my bottom lashes and I would always get it on my skin and I would always have to clean it up and it's just too time consuming. So I want to try the um, L'Oreal Telescopic because that one has like a nicer um, thinner brush. Um, this one's a little fuller but um, yeah so I won't repurchase this again but it's not bad. Oh my gosh my first lipstick. Yes. Um, I I guess I still have like a few more uses out of it, but I can't like get a nice application because literally that's all that's left. This is L'Oreal Ferris Nude. This was my absolute first nude ever. Since I've bought this lipstick maybe two years ago, 
Um, I found many more um, nudes that I like. My favorite nude is Milani, uh, nude cream, nude creme, whatever. Um, so this one just kind of fades out. It's a little more brown than pink, pinky or peachy nude. I prefer peachy nudes or pinky nudes. Um, so this one is a little more brown and I don't know. I don't hate it, but I don't see myself repurchasing it. Next is an Urban Decay De Slick make Makeup Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I need to set my face all the time. Um, I just bought the NYX Matte Finish one to have like as an everyday because I hated using this everyday because it's so expensive. Even though I bought the smaller ones to like carry along um, with me, I don't even carry it with me because I'm like, oh my god, it's expensive. I don't want to waste it. So I actually do like the NYX matte finish. I think it does a great job and this one does too. So I use this more like on the weekends and then I use my NYX every day because I'm an oily mess. So I need something to mattify me. I have this Tarte light camera flashes. Um, I liked this one. Why is this in here? Did this dry out? I think it did dry out. Um, the lights camera flashes. I liked it. Um, I like these sort of rubber, um, mascara wands and this was just a travel size that came in one of the many like sets that I've bought um so I finally used it and it dried out because it's smaller so um yeah I have a rocket Maybelline the rocket mascara I love this mascara it's definitely my favorite drugstore mascara um I would continue to purchase this but I have so many backups right now so I'm not going to repurchase it right now but I completely, completely suggest this. I love this one. I've suggested it ugh, whoa, to so many people and they absolutely love it. Next is the Burt Bees Pink Blossom Tinted Lip Balm. I don't like tinted lip balms. I don't like tinted anything um, or stains. I've never really tried stains, but I don't, I don't really care for the staining effect. I like the feel of lipstick on my lips or a lip gloss right on top. I just, I love lip products, but I'm not a big fan of anything tinted or um tinted lip balms because it still won't completely hide the color of my natural lips and i have more deeper lips as i always say so i like something with actual like opacity opaque whatever like that's opaque in color so um i don't even know where this came from but it was sitting in my little holder where i have all my lip balms and i think my sister actually gave it to me um, it does have a pretty um good amount of color payoff as you can see right here i would suggest this more i don't even know if they sell this still in the store i've never i don't really buy anything Burt's bees um but i would suggest this if you have like really nice um light pigmented lips like very natural like like a, i don't know i don't know like my best friend and other people i know they have like no pigment to their lips so they can like wear like a nice um sheer lip gloss and it looks beautiful on them because it just kind of brings out the natural pink in their lips so I would suggest that for someone like that because with someone with deeper um lip colors it naturally it, this just doesn't do anything so I don't like it and it's I don't know how long it's been sitting there so I just decided to throw it away and I would not repurchase that next is a brush that I'm throwing away because for one can you see how um busted it looks like all these things are coming off on the or they just it didn't stay pretty and this is a uh, ubu urban something i got this at ulta the number 11 i liked the shape of it and at first i loved this brush but then as i washed it and used it over and over again it just completely lost lost its shape and it's shedded everywhere like i would just have pink hair everywhere and i would feel it throughout the day I'm like oh I feel like I have a hair on me and when I would finally find it or get to a mirror I would look and it was a freaking pink hair so I will not repurchase this I don't know if I got a bad one but these are newer brushes at Ulta and they're pretty inexpensive and I'm I'll never buy this again because of that problem so I don't suggest these I don't know if the other brushes because I know they have like sets and other brushes but I don't suggest that one at all Next is the Almay Get Up and Grow Mascara. Oh my god, I love this mascara. That's what I'm wearing right now um, on my eyes. I already have a backup of it. I love this mascara. I think it's an awesome drugstore mascara. A lot of people do not talk about it. I heard about it on Emily Noel. She said that she loved it. 
it was on sale at Walgreens for super cheap and they always have really good coupons in the Sunday paper for like four dollars off or two dollars off or three dollars off or buy two get one free different um like sort of coupons and they always go on sale and they always have um coupons in this monthly books at Walgreens so um I these just come out so inexpensive and I think it's a great mascara it really brings volume and length and just it's super black and like I love the way my eyelashes look I don't wear um false lashes I just can't get the hang of how to apply them correctly so this just makes me have like a nice false set false a, a nice full set of eyelashes so I love this one this one and the rocket are my absolute favorite so I would repurchase it what else do I have oh a Laura Geller um, powder foundation the baked powder foundation and this is in Brighton balance and Brighton foundation in medium um, my friend Myra actually gave me this uh, and it didn't I don't like want to say the story of how I got this but <laughs> Myra you know um, so she gave this to me and I tried it and it just doesn't show up on my skin I mean when I swatch it you can see there's something on my finger but um, I don't know if it's too light or what but this just doesn't work for me uh, Estee Lauder I will always have these as well in my um, empties because this is what I use to cover my vitiligo. Highly suggest it. I do find that after um, maybe, what, six, seven hours, it will start to become oily. And in the spots that I do um, conceal my vitiligo, it, it like completely just starts, it becomes like a little tacky and oily. Um, but at that time, I like use blotting papers to like take uh, take off the excess oil because I am oily. Like my skin is oily, so like the way the guy explained it, I um went to Ulta and I was buying something, and the guy was telling me if I've ever used um cover cover FX because he wanted to like try something on me, and I don't ever really let someone play with my face when I go to Sephora or Ulta because they'll mess everything up and. My spots will start to show if they want to like apply some sort of highlighter or um, blush on me or something. It tends off, they don't know that I have it concealed or if I do let them know they're like oh yeah 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 and then they start and then when I when I'm done I look at myself they've rubbed off my makeup. So um, once I have makeup on my face I don't touch it, I don't touch it up. I just blot excess powder or put on some um, a powder translucent powder for like shine control stuff like that so I don't really like apply anything else on top I just let it ride and then when I get home if I'm gonna go out somewhere else I redo my makeup um I just love having a fresh face of makeup it's I have very con or very heavy full coverage foundation and everything so eventually throughout the day it'll st not start to break apart but it will um just my natural oils and my oily skin will just start to change up the makeup it's just been there for so long and it's so heavy that it's kind of like my pores want to breathe so I remove it and then I start all over and get a fresh face and I love that effect um and I think everyone just gets that natural feeling of having too much makeup on like you just really want to take it all off so um he told me that that was a long rant <laughs> about how I got to hear about something else um, he told me that he wanted to try Cover FX on me. I have used Cover FX previously. I felt like it did the same thing, um, in the sense that it would become oily in the spots that I used it to conceal. But it's been a few years since I've used Cover F FX. I started using it when I first moved to Miami. Um, so yeah, he said that they have something new and it's better for oily skin. And he said that there's mineral oil in this. Um, I haven't looked at the ingredients to see if there is, but he said that's what's making um, it oily and look tacky um, after like seven hours uh, of wear, even though this is like all day wear. Um, I don't know. Uh, he was telling me that, so I just wanted to let you know that. I think that's what mineral, the mineral oil is what makes it look more greasy after a, a certain amount of time down with your makeup wear but I'm I still wear this and I'll continue to reapply makeup after a certain amount if I need to um next is this uh Sephora 
makeup brush shampoo. I got the small size because I wanted to try it out. I like this more for my eyeshadow brushes, not so much for my makeup, like my face brushes. Um, so I would repurchase it for my eyeshadow brushes, um, but not for my face brushes. Um, but yeah, this wasn't bad. Uh, next is this Victoria's Secret Brilliant Lip Shine in Mischief. It's one of these, like, clicker, um, lip glosses with that sort of applicator. I'm not a fan of this applicator. I think it gets everywhere. It's hard to, like, really put a precise, um, amount of product on your lips. And this is extremely old. This is, like over five years old um and I never used it I just kind of left it there and I was like let me throw you away because y you're not doing anything so it's right there it's a very natural pink but it's super frosty this is when I used to not wear anything but lip gloss and I'm throwing it away and I wouldn't repurchase it uh next is a I have two, two Lancome lip glosses one of these is when my sister went to prom and that's what that was in 2007 so this is really old and then the other one was around the same time when um I used to be really cool with this lady when I worked at Dillard's um she was like oh this one looks that pretty on you and I would never go for a brown lip gloss in, in this day or this it's just full of glitter whatever it's the same thing but they're full of glitter as you can see and I don't like glitter on my lips at all um, I like very flat lip glosses, um, just opaque. I don't know if you could, like, really get... Whatever. These are the Lancome Color Fever Gloss. And I don't like these, so I won't repurchase them. And they're so old, I, that needs to be thrown away. Alright, next is... I have a few more things. My camera's dying, so I gotta... Hurry up and stop talking so much. Next is this Nivea Kiss of Mint and Minerals um, lip balm. I love this. Love, 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 love. There's absolutely like nothing left. I would have to like scrub, scrub it out, whatever, not scrub it up. Take it out myself manually and that's too much work. And I don't think there's like, there's, I don't know. There's nothing left, but I love this. I love these. They're my favorite lip balms. I'm just going through my um, other lip balms that I have right now in my collection and once I'm done with these I will just stick to buying these that's how much I love them there's so many different kinds like milk and honey I'm um, just the reg the regular blue tube this tube and then um, I don't know if there's other ones but I love these I highly suggest them they're so moisturizing and just your lips just feel so healthy and like <laughs> luscious and like chap free so I love that. I'll continue to repurchase it when I'm done. Um, next is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I liked it, but it's too much work and it dries out so fast because it's a small um, application. It's only $10, so if you want to try it, it's worth it. But um, I just think it takes like forever to be like so small. It's like it would be nice. This is a nice size for like the eyebrows, like how the Gimme Brow is from Benefit. But this for the bottom lashes just takes forever. I like it and I like how I can fully like extend the length of the bottom lash with this which is one of the pluses from it but I probably won't repurchase it because eh, I'm dropping everything. And next is this brush um from Ulta. It like grips so there's like tape on it. It's a little ghetto but I, I don't know I hated this brush so I don't really like the Ulta brushes. Um, and then lastly, uh, is this sh sugar lip treatment. They're oh and fresh. So this is a sample the, from the gift, I think last year, the birthday gift. It was two of these and um, I like it, but I know the full size is like $22 and everyone said they're amazing on their lips. I just thought it was whatever. I prefer the Nivea over this, so I won't repurchase the full size ever or a mini size or anything like that. So yes. Those were my empties. Um, I hope you liked this video. This is my fourth official empty video. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.